What up, YouTube, YouTube? Mr. King coming at you from the studio and the 209. So, number one, what did you do over the weekend? Number two, would you rather live a long time, let's say like 80 years and be poor, or live a short life, like 40 years and be rich? And then why? And then three, why do you think wolves hunt in packs? So those are the Beller questions for the day. Please answer them. And then as a reminder, um, pause the video now to get more time. Here's some announcements. Students did very well on the quiz Wednesday. And if you're not happy with this score, you can always resubmit for a higher score after you fix your errors. And then also note, I accept late work. So if your grade is low, make sure you have everything turned in. Today, this is what we're doing. We're going to write a CR, how group behavior can increase an animal's survival. So first thing, while we watch this video, I want you to think, why do fish school for most of their lives? And then go to week four Monday and then pull up the group behavior Cornell notes. It should look something like this. We're going to be learning about today. Why are two heads better than one in the animal kingdom? So I'm going to play a clip of fish swimming in a school. And I want you to think, why is it better to swim in a school? play the video one more time. Think about why is it good for all these sardines to swim in a school. Here's my hint. Try and look at the shape of the fish. When you think you got it, please answer the question. Why do fish swim in a school? What do you think is a positive or what do you think it can do if fish swim in a school? Based on the video, try and figure out, like, what do you notice about, like, all the fish coming together as one? What do you think, what kind of effect do you think it'll have on predators? So I have the answer there. Next one, I'm going to play a clip from a show called Recess. And I want you to think, how do working together increase Gus's survival? Gus is like the little scrawny white kid right here. How do working together help Gus? Okay, how did working together help Gus survive? Gus was the one that was getting beat up. How did it help him defeat the bully? That's what I'm looking for right here. Pause the video now and answer those questions. Next, the last one. I want you to think, answer the question, why is it helpful for animals to behave in a group? Okay, here's some ideas here. And then come up with a picture. Find a picture right here of how it can be helpful for animals to live in a group. Go to insert, image, search the web. Okay, please stay tuned for second part of this video to do the CER behavior worksheet. See you in part two.